crazy. Chris, you know these hoes ain't loyal. thoughts on it I feel like <laughs> here we go again in celebrity world when I first um, found out that something was going on with Chris Brown it was because I was on Facebook and I saw with one of my um, Facebook friends they were just saying um, that they was praying for Chris Brown and so you know I looked at the comments and everything and somebody was saying how it wasn't real and so then I went to his Instagram page and I saw that he was talking about that he woke up and he had SWAT teams around his house and everything, and how he didn't do anything. And yeah, he fussing and everything. So yeah, I'm like, what Chris talking about? But they're saying that he pulled out a gun on this white girl, Corinne Bailey, or Bailey Corinne, whatever her name is. And what I gotta say about that is, I don't really believe it. She's not credible. And the reason why I say that is because I'm quite sure everybody talking about it, so everybody know that in 2014 that she was involved in some shit with she stole somebody's purse and it had two hundred dollars in there credit cards and all that and she stole that michael Ford's bag and all that and they're saying right now that she has a warrant out for her arrest and if she's seen in new york city and that's what i saw on fox 5 this morning and if she's seen in new york city that they're going to lock her up so i'm like in 2014 when she was in a hotel and she stole whoever stuff that she stole, another female stuff. When you go to Chris Brown's house and you were so called admiring that diamond necklace that he or his friend or whoever had, when you was admiring it, yeah, I bet you was admiring it. You was admiring it, trying to figure out how the hell you can take it. And they're going to get mad and say somebody pulled out a gun on you. I don't believe that. That's not the full story. It's always three sides to a story that person side your side and then the truth and you're a thief barely Karen you're a thief so there's no way you could possibly tell the truth on anything that you say that so-called Chris Brown has done there's no way you could be telling the truth because if you're a thief if you're a steal you're a liar and you're a thief and all that you know what they say if you're a steal then you're a liar and all that stuff so yeah it's true you're a thief and you're a liar. Not only that, what was you doing over Chris Brown house? I don't care who invited you. I don't care. We all know that he's so-called smack Rihanna and that he's supposedly bipolar. And he could really be bipolar. And I don't, I'm not saying anything about that. But what I'm saying is, me, if I know a guy's bipolar and everything, he's, he's had all these issues with females and everything, I'm not showing up at his house because I don't want to take a chance at nobody having an episode. And smacking me all around, biting me, putting the gun out on me. But I feel like you was there with the intent to do something negative. And it backfired. It's called karma. I feel like Chris Brown, he need to go ahead and start isolating himself around positive people. You can't have everybody around you. You can't have groupies in your circle. You just can't. Because look what happened. They locked him up. His bail was $250,000. He paid it. And now he's out. Which is wrong. It's wrong. Because it's obvious that they want his money. And it's a shame that his cameras wasn't working. They should have been working. Maybe they wasn't on. I don't know why Chris Brown didn't have his cameras working. But I can't say that. It would have showed the full truth. And I feel like no matter what he did. Whether he pulled a gun out on his female or not. Maybe he shouldn't have did it. But if you up in somebody's house and you're admiring their diamonds and all this other stuff and they're telling you to leave that stuff alone and everything and you don't do it and you know this person's bipolar and been all in the media and everything, then you kind of get what you deserve because you're not exempt. What makes you exempt from any of the other females that have been through the bullshit that they have been through, so-called been through with Chris Brown? But um, I can go on and on and on, but that's just my little two cents. So on that note, I just want to say thank you for watching. To all the new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. And on that note.